The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Captain John wins. Here in South Jersey, there's a tradition of building serious sport fishing boats. I'm Captain John Wenz from BoatTest.com, and today we're aboard the 42 Express from Henriquez. The North Atlantic Ocean has tried the skills of boat builders and fishermen for generations. Favored by professionals for reliability, the entire Henriquez lineup is full of features and equipment that fishermen need to go out to sea for a successful day on the water. It all starts up forward, where, like most sport fishermen, there's a huge foredeck. This one's covered in an aggressive non-skid pattern and is surrounded by a welded aluminum rail. There's a bow pulpit with a roller and a couple of husky mooring cleats on deck. Wide side decks surround this spacious bridge. The centerline helm seat is flanked by two companion seats and there are settees all around, enough comfortable seating for the whole crew. There are plenty of lockers, tackle drawers, and large storage areas under the settees. The bridge deck features air conditioning and heat and the quality enclosure makes it effective while still affording excellent visibility. Engine controls are functional, attractive and durable, the kind of stuff that professional captains choose. The layout is effective and there's enough space left over for a full complement of electronics. Back here in the cockpit is what makes or breaks a sport fisherman. The 42 Express is certainly true to her name. The first thing you notice is how roomy this cockpit is. In fact, I felt as if I was boarding a 50 or 60 footer when I jumped off the dock. All the hardware is rugged and dependable stuff that won't start rattling around after a few tough trips offshore. There's storage everywhere and huge fish boxes that can handle a bountiful catch. A cockpit sink and cooler are right at hand and soft bolsters surround. There's a walkthrough door and a live well back on the transom, and the deck is reinforced and ready to install a fighting chair. Come on down to the engine room, I'll show you around. One look around and there's no doubt about the engineering aspects of the 42. All grip bilge areas serve to keep things clean, and yes, you will want to give tours. The layout and the choice of standard equipment is born from experience. Maintenance is kept to a minimum given the level of quality of what's here. And when you do need to get at something, it's within easy reach. Although they cut no corners in the quality of the finish work, the standard layout isn't set up for large family cruising. Then again, that's not the point of this boat. A sumptuous island berth is up forward and a convertible table provides additional bunks. An L-shaped galley is fitted with solid surface countertops, lots of storage, and a side-by-side -side refrigerator and freezer. The standard finish is ash, or you can request the teak, like our test boat. By the way, Henrique's boats are semi-custom, so they'll be happy to work with you to meet your needs when it comes to things like custom layout designs. And if there's still not enough space, they build a real nice flybridge model on this same hull. To port of the companionway is a full head with a glass front shower stall. The fit and finish complement the rest of the interior and anyone would feel comfortable and right at home. The Henrique's 42 Express is 42 feet from stem to stern. She's got a 14 foot 9 inch beam and a draft of 45 inches. She holds 660 gallons of fuel, 120 gallons of water, and displaces 36,500 pounds. We took her for a test run on a pretty fair day, but after getting a close look at this boat, the weather would have to be pretty severe to keep me at the dock. Our test boat was powered by twin man diesel 800s. We reached a top speed of 36.6 knots and our cruising speed worked out to 31.3 knots at 2000 RPM burning 55 total gallons per hour for a range of 338 nautical miles. Speed numbers show she's no rocket ship, but given her beefy construction, the numbers aren't bad. The most noticeable trade-off with this boat is in interior space. You definitely sacrifice some of it for fishing room, but after all, this boat is not targeted at the cruising set. The 42 Express from Henriquez. I've been waiting for this all day. We're going to go get the gear and we're going fishing. <laughs>